Hello everyone. Today I'm going to go through how you can use how can you do image detection with MapleStory using OpenCV. So I will show you what the final results that we are trying to accomplish. So in the end, we are trying to show that we are able to capture this orange mushroom using OpenCV. So in this image, we are able to capture two mushrooms but uh, we are unable to capture this. So what I'm trying to say is that even with OpenCV, without machine learning, there's still some limitations to the ability of the OpenCV being able to capture most of the mushroom in this map. Before we start, we will need to import a few libraries. We need to import CV2 as CV, and we need to use Pew to either get image grab to do image grab or use uh, image ops and we need to import numpy as mp and import time so to start off i will be defining this function so we will be looking at this function line by line first so this will be the image that we are going to use and i will call it big here because what we are trying to detect is this small mushroom. So firstly, to, in order to detect this small mushroom, we need to crop out the mushroom from this entire picture. So to do that, we will use paint. And using crop button, we will have this smaller mushroom. So we will need to save it as at the known path. So for my case, I save it in, in users, user. And the file name is called small mushroom, which is a smaller one. And the big mushroom or the big map, it's called MapleStory mushroom.jpg. Next, I will use cv.imread read to read in the file and let it be template input. So for the bigger mushroom or the bigger map, it will be known as source input. Next, we will be using cv.match template. So I, this is the OpenCV uh, tutorial on template matching. So the source image refers to the, the image in which we are expect to find a match to the template image. And the template image is, so what template matching do is, it will try to match the template map images against the source image, sliding it. So you will go through pixel by pixel, one at a time. Firstly, you'll go from left to right, then up to down. So you will generate a value and each the value or the matrix is calculated so it represents how good or bad the match at that location is. So there are a few methods, matching, mat matching methods that is open in uh, OpenCV. So these are the methods. So for my case, I'm choosing um, this one. But you can try the rest of the, the methods to see which give you the best matching. You print the results. So once we print the result, you'll see a lot of numbers. So these numbers define how closely matched the template is at that location. The higher the number, the better the match. And we let the location to be MP dot where results is more than the threshold. So the lower the threshold, the higher the number of matches. So the higher the threshold, the more accurate is the matches. So MP dot where what it does does is this. So basically, it tells you where in these arrays that actually satisfy a given condition. So I got this from another Stack Overflow uh, questions. It's, it is a numpy.where detailed step-by-step -step explanation. So let's, let's try uh, these examples. So between five to 10, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So it generates the location, which is zero, one, two, which represent five, six, and seven. So basically mp.where actually generates the position. So for our case, our condition is result must be more than threshold. So we'll give out. So 
the location will be the positions of the pixel that actually matches the condition. So next we will print out before zip the location. So now we will print out the location before the zip line of code, which is this. Then I'll print out another location after we go through this list zip built-in function. So as you can see before the zip list zip built-in function, the location is has two arrays. This is the first array and this is the second array. Basically, these are all the y and x axis of the location. So if I break it down for you further, you'll see that the first array, which is this, starting from 4211, 421, 421, 421, 421. However, the output is such that it is arranged in all the y axis and then all the x axis. Thus, we need to run this list bracket zip bracket star location minus one in order to make it such that it becomes x comma y. So let me show you what I mean. So as you can see, once we run this line of code, it will become 375421. All the y axis, then all the x axis. After running this line of code, it becomes x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. So this is pretty much the end of the tutorial. If you have any questions, do leave a, your questions down in the comment section below. If not, thank you for watching.